In our first reading this morning, we see that the prophet Ezekiel was trying to build the people's hope up because they had lost hope. They had been um, taken over by the Babylonians. Babylonians murdered all their kings and all the 400 sons of the kings. And it looked like the Davidic line of ancestry was over. But he comes along to give them hope and compares it to God the Father taking a small sprout from a tree and planting it and then watching it grow until it becomes the hugest of all trees. And he compares that that that's what's going to be Israel in the future. He's predicting the coming of Christ and the, and the existence of the church. When we look at the second reading, it says that we are courageous. We're away from the Lord. When we're in the body, we are not at home because we're away from the Lord. Our true home is in heaven. And so we are always courageous. <clears throat> to be courageous, the word courageous comes from the Latin word core, which means heart. It means to love something with your whole heart. As we celebrate Father's Day today, we're giving thanks to God for the gifts of our fathers, our grandfathers, our great-grandfathers, our godfathers, because they were men who were courageous. They loved with their whole heart. They were willing to take responsibility for the gift of fatherhood, to love their wives, first of all, to bring children into the world, and not only bring them into the world, but to raise them to be good and moral young people. And the example that they set is so important. We all look back and remember, <clears throat> remember all the sacrifices our dads did for us as we were growing up and all the good things that he gave us. Today, we pray for our dads who are already in heaven, including mine, and for the ones who are still living, that God may give them the strength of his spirit. We're all called to grow. The readings today talk about growth. If it seeds from a small, uh, in, to small seeds that grow into fruitful plants, but we as human beings are called to grow. And spiritually growing is so very important. The plants and the animals grow and produce fruit and then they die. But human beings grow and produce fruit, but then they move on to the eternal life in heaven. And that growth towards eternal life is so important in our lives. So it's living our vocation day by day, putting up with all of its sacrifices and frustrations, whatever our vocation is, so that we can give, do God's will and one day attain um, a place in the kingdom of heaven. Our dads have to be a lot of, very patient with us, don't they? And you know, I'm the oldest of 10 kids and I always thought my father was pretty courageous to come home from work every night to 10 kids. But I remember a lot of things like, he, got, he worked for the Cadillac, uh, the tank plant out by the airport for many years and he'd get a deal for a brand new Cadillac every year. And I remember the day he came home with his brand new Cadillac and we went out to see it. And there was my little brother with a stone carving his name on the side of the Cadillac. <laughs> the look on dad's face was, I'd like to kill him. But, <laughs> but of course, what could he say? He's just a little boy writing his name on his dad's new car. Or my dad liked to garden and uh, Every Easter, he would get several of the lily plants from the church when Easter season was ending. And he'd take them home and plant them. And one year, he had 25 or 30 of them in the backyard. He'd cut them down, and then in August, they would all bloom again. And so there were tons of blossoms on the, on the lily plants, and he was so excited about them, ready to bloom. He kind of comes home from work, and my little sister had gone outside, and she cut off all of the blossoms and gave them to dad and said, I picked all the bananas. <laughs> she thought they were bananas. <laughs> he had to be very patient that day. But there were so many times, and, and I remember most of all my father going to mass every morning. That's what I remember. When my mom was pregnant, which was most of the time, um, he would go to mass every morning. I said, why are you going to mass every morning? He said, I'm going there to pray for your mother, for her good health through this pregnancy, and I'm praying for the baby, whoever he or she may be, that they grow up to be, um, to be a true child of God. 
And I was impressed by that, that he was coming to Mass before he went to work to pray for her and the baby. I could go on and on with examples from my own dad, and I'm sure that you can think of examples in your minds too. I, I love it when I have baptisms, especially for the firstborn child of a young couple. And you just see the joy in both of them, and especially the father, who's just overjoyed at the reality of this child that he brought into the world. And those, are the, those are the good things God has given us, calling us to participate in building up his kingdom. And married couples, moms and dads, do that by raising their families bring in to, to help the kingdom of God. So today we ask the Lord to help all of us. We give thanks to God for our dads and help all of us fulfill our vocation by every day growing spiritually so that even though our bodies will wear out one day, spiritually we'll be strong and able to open the gates of heaven and enter into God's presence.